Hello everyone. I'm going to discuss about the types of resources in QTP. Resources means the storage medium. Suppose you can store the code that can be reused as a function and that function can be stored into some file. Then that file is a resource for QTP. Similarly, you can store the object description into one repository. This repository is a resource for QTP. So basically the medium where you can store some data is a resource of QTP. Here we'll discuss the different types of resources and how can we associate those resource into a QTP tool. Okay, so let's start there one by one. The very first resource is action. Action is a logical unit where you can divide your code as a different different logical unit. So in the QTP here you can see the different actions which can be associated with this test. So by default when a script is newly created it consists of only one action that is action 1. A script can consist of one action or a more action. In this video, we'll just see the types of resources and the detailed description of each resources are covered into a separate video. So let's discuss about the second resource that is function library where you can store your functions. This function library can be of two types. The first one is QFL extension and the second one is VBS extension. QFL stands for the QTP function library whereas VBS stands for the VB script file. So you can create a line of code that can be reused as a function and that function will be stored into this library. So in QTP from here new and function library. Now from here you can create a function libraries with the QFL format or the VBS format. So you can save like let's say write QFL and then save. So here you can store as a .QFL format or .VBS format. So this is the way that you can create a function library. Okay, let's say uh, I'll save this as a QFL. Let's say QFL dot QFL. Okay. Similarly, you can create dot VBS file as well. Let's say create one more function library. I am writing something here. Let's say VBS. Then save it. And on the same location, I can write let's say VBS dot VBS extension. Now this is stored as your VBS file. Now in this test you can associate this function library from the settings option and then resources here some resources are already associated you can delete it from here it's a delete now you can associate from plus icon select this okay go to the browser location i have stored this file let's say qfl and associate another as well let's say pbs so these two files are associated with your test so these are the another type of resources in the QTP let's say apply and the ok ok and save this test I'll save this test uh, as say hmm, resources test ok now the next is your environment variable file this is your another resource and this file is stored as a .xml format. Okay, what is the environment variable? These are the variables that can be used to fetch the data from the either the built-in variables or the user-defined variables. I'll show you from where you can do this. You can go to the settings, then go to the environment. See, there are the different environment variables available the first one is the built-in type of variable the another one is user defined built suppose uh, you want to access uh, the operating system of this machine 
so there is the environment variable that is already defined as OS you can use this OS as in your code and the va its value like my operating system is Microsoft Windows 7 so this value gets access from this OS thing similarly if you want to know the action name of your test you can get this from your built-in environment variable similarly you can define the user defined environment variable from here by clicking on the plus icon then let's say just give a demo and its value test so this is your user defined environment variable now if you want to access this test value you have to use just this demo we'll see this in detail in a separate video now this environment variable can be exported to a xml file from this option and similarly you can load these variables from the external file you can define these variables into a xml file and that file can be loaded from here okay so this is another type of the resources the next is recovery scenario recovery scenario and the file format of this is QRS QTP or quick test recovery scenario so suppose uh, in your test maybe uh, sometimes unwanted errors may occur so to handle those errors you can write a block of code which can trigger whenever any problem is there so from there you can handle that situation so in the QTP recovery scenario are created from here resources and then recovery scenario manager now you can create a recovery scenario manager from the new option and then you can write the recovery scenario we'll discuss all these things when we'll discuss about the recovery scenario so from here you can uh, save a recovery scenario now to associate a recovery scenario you have to go to the settings option then in the recovery tab and then plus icon once you have a recovery scenario onto your code then you can associate from here so from here you can select the recovery scenario just click on the option see I have one recovery scenario saved previously so just select this option and then open now this recover then click on this add scenario now here recovery scenario gets added to your test so from here you can create a recovery scenario and then you can associate that recovery scenario to your test the next resource is object repository object repository object repository is the that repository where you can store the objects with all its description so the extension of the object repository is dot trs see so from qtp tool from here you can associate the different object repository and if you want to create a new object repository you can go to the resources then click on the object repository manager and from here new and you can save the different object repository so here is the option to create the object repository and to associate the object repository you have to go to this thing and from this icon you can associate the object repository we'll see this in detail when we'll discuss about the object repository option so these are the different resources that can be associated within a QTP you can create all these resources and associate the Q, uh, all these resources from the settings option there are different different nodes available for each and every type of resources now there might occur some situation that this resources gets missed missed means each time when you open a test or a function library quick test automatically checks that all specified resources are accessible let's say in this case only we have this test let's write something like this is a demo test okay so this is our test okay and what we did in this test we associate something we associate this file here we associate the recovery scenario here in this so when we open this test QTP check whether all the specified resources are accessible accessible means they are at their location or not if it finds any resources that are not accessible 
QTP list them in a missing resources pane. You can open the missing resources pane. You can open the missing resources pane from here. Now, if the missing resources pane is not currently displayed, QTP automatically opens it when a missing resource is detected. So, let's take uh, one example to see how the missing resources pane gets displayed. Uh, so, in this test, we have associated this resource as a QTP. So, when QTP opens, it looks whether that QFL.QFL file is exist at this location or not. Let me uh, change the name of this uh, uh, file so that we have this resources gets missing. So I have changed this uh, name uh, QFL as uh, let's say one dot QFL. Okay. So the name of this file gets changed. Now go back to your test and open this test once again. To open the test, click on the open and then resources test and then open. Okay, it will prompt you like, do you want to revert the save test? Yes, open it. Now see, here, it will display the missing resource pane. Why? What happens? Because missing function library QFL dot QFL. Why? Because we have one function library associated with test and QTP looks whether that resource is accessible or not. It doesn't find that resources. So it lists this in, into a missing resources uh, pane now you can handle this missing resources by just select this option and right click here now you can either locate this resource or you can remove this resource if you want to locate this resource click on the locate option and now it will prompt you for the location where you have saved that file now if you want that uh, resource to get change you just select on this option and then click on the open button now see the item gets removed from the missing resources and now you can save your test now go to back to your settings and the resources see the file gets changed from one qfl dot qfl okay so this is how you can handle your missing resources if you want to locate that select the locate option or if you want to remove that you can remove the option similarly with the other resources this can happen like if you do not have object repository at that location it will show you for the object repository similarly it will show you for the recovery scenarios let's check for that recovery scenario also we have the recovery scenario like rs.qrs now let's change the name of this file again. Let's say we have this rs.qrs and now let's change the name is 1.qrs. Okay. Then open this test once again. Now see here. Now in the missing resources it will show you that missing recovery scenario that is test scenario. So we have changed the name. So it, it is showing that rs.qrs is not missing. So just to locate this right click on the option again same locate and then you can search for that option from here click on that and then select this option open this and then click on the ok see the line gets removed and in the settings within the recovery the name also gets and handle your missing resources you can try with the other option as well with the object repository with the actions similar is the case you can either locate that resource or you can remove that resource so that's all from the resources side. Thank you.